we're going live. And hey. welcome. Hey, you screwed up my intro, okay? Oh, go ahead. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Kimball's Corner, where today we are going to be playing with some stuff. But first, before Rocky throws the cookies at me. Thank you. Let's talk about the snack. That's we right. It's Jude's ice cream. Chocolate brownie. <laughs> well, that's for me anyway. Yeah, your plant-based deliciousness. Actually, it was quite tasty. It was much creamier than the stuff I got, so lesson Lesson. learned. And it's only 96 calories for a serving or something like that. Anyway. Also, let us know if you can hear us in the comments below. Oh, well, that's always good. It's just, you know, a good thing to check. Good to know. Why don't you just turn your computer up? Can you hear us on there? Sadie, because then we'll get a re, like a little echo. But you'll hear up. Um, Sadie says, okay, this time I'm going to be early instead of missing your stream. LOL. Hey, welcome. Okay, well, okay, back they, to the they can hear us. Go on. Okay, back to the snack. We got strawberry and cream with white chocolate chip cookies from the Cottage Bakery, which is a local bakery. Oh. Delish. Yeah, we went into Tame to get these, and of course, we went on the day they were setting up for the big fair. <laughs> it's like road closures and detours. I'm like, why do we keep going to villages where they keep blocking roads off? Tame's I, a really cute little town, though. If you get a chance to look it up on Google, it's a little cute market town. Highly recommend. Also, just a little shout out to Catnip Illustrations. I'm sure a lot of you probably watch her. I ordered some stuff because I'm in the UK now and I don't have to pay for that crazy shipping. <laughs> um, so this was the thank you card that came with it. And I just painted my little sketchbook bluey egg color. Like an, uh, Is uh, that uh, acrylic paint? Robin's egg blue. Um, I don't know. I got it from Target. It was like $2. Mm. And then I just glued this on there because I thought it was cute. And then I got this cat because we all feel like that quite often. And I got this beautiful little print of, you know, Chicky Doo in the Moon. Love it. Chicky Doo in the Moon. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Autumn leaves and coffee, please. Can it be any more me? Also, was going to buy the mug with this. Forgot there was a mishap. My what fault. was the mishap? Your memory? Basically. Like, I put it in the cart. And then I was like, oh, I need to sign in. So I signed in. Oh, and my like, gosh. Campbell. And then it refreshed the page. And no, it took me to a different tab was what it did. And so oh, then and it was it was the, the, the browser's tab. fault. The, yeah. It was the tab's yeah. fault. Technology. What oh, is okay, it? Got it. That makes anyway. Sense. And then I got this because I love cats and I mean expressions for. Well, by anyway. large, people in the comments are responding positively. Yeah, we do love a good catnip. And I will, after this, link her, because she has a YouTube, and I watch her YouTube a lot. And She has so, a cute, like, studio vlog. And, well, she has a couple different things, but one of them is, like, her just daily, like, going through her business and stuff like that. Yeah, she has an Etsy shop. Obviously, that's where I got these from. Amazing. Highly recommend. But yes, after this, if I remember, which, Rocky, remind me, it's your fault if it doesn't get in there. Yeah, just, I just will, like the tabs. I will link her somehow. I just do at catnip, I think, and it just Pops are in there. How do we do it? I feel like we're like an older person. They're like kids are trying to explain us how to do texting. We're over 40. We're allowed to not know how to do things now. Okay. Okay. So today, to the art, we are going to do stencils. To the art! I've had a lot of people ask me to do a video on the stencils, and I just don't want to do an edited one. So we're going to do a live stream one. Um, so basically, I'm using my Jane stencils, courtesy of Zandra. Thank you, Zandra. Shout oh my God, out. Thank you, Zandra. Hey. Hey. Um, and so this is the package that it comes in. I already took it out to save this like 10 seconds because I talk a lot and we're already sidetracked. So this is, I think it's a Strathmore, um, you sure do make that look easy. Okay. I hope you washed your hands. <laughs> I did. Uh, oh. I think anyway. Okay, go I gotta explain what I'm doing. Okay. God, you're so distracting. Mm. This is why everyone likes my edited videos, because you're not in it. Right, okay. Okay. Basically, I have been posting images, which I'll show you in a minute. People want me to do videos. I didn't want to do an edited one, because it takes way too long. So I'll just show you how I do this. And hey, you know, you'll see how long it actually takes. This is a Strathmore toned tan paper sketchbook. Hoshi from 17, shout out. Anyway, so of course I did the first one upside down because, you know, I'm at that age. And that was not intentional, I'm assuming. No. Does it really matter though, honestly? No, yes. But I'm going to do these same colors because I really like how that one turned out. Um, and then I did that one. I was experimenting, adding like the blue watercolor in the end to like push it back, pop her out. Maybe I'll do that on this, but I don't know because I really like how bright those colors are. 
they were cool. Then I did like the mermaid stencil. A lot of people seem to really like the mermaid ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, who doesn't love a good mermaid? Am I right? And there she is without her digital top. Somebody was like, I want to see without the digital top. I'm like, well, there it is. So yes, that is what we will be doing today. So it's going to be her face. It's going to be great. Sadie says, LOL, I end up painting upside down on my books all the time. I know, right? You're not alone, Kimball. You are not alone. Thank you. Wow. And then you rolled your eyes that you stuck ice cream in your mouth. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. What's Miriam's last name? Margoli. <laughs> Miriam Margoyles. <laughs> oh, we were, we were watching things. a vlog. When someone was eating. Luke sorry, Cat Lou. I have ice cream on my mouth. Uh huh. Luke Cat Lou was reading a book by Marianne Margulies. Miriam. Miriam Margulies. And I was like, her last name looks like Margoyles. And Kimball was eating a sandwich and lost his mind for Dude. like three minutes. He could not stop laughing. It was about the I was end all, of me. What? I, almost, I almost died eating a sandwich. And then we were coming upstairs <sighs> and I was like saying something to Kimball. He was trying to drink coffee and he almost spat all over himself. Yeah. What were you saying? Probably nothing we'd want to repeat on here. It's probably about <laughs> Um, yeah, and then also, oh, and then I gave him a chip. I was like, here, have a chip. And he's like, mm -hmm. feet chips <laughs> or feet crisps. And I was like, whatever. I it like was it. vinegar. It was the it's, most vinegary chip I've ever had in my life. It's like salt and vinegar deliciousness. I feel like you, I just stepped into a karate gym. You loved it. I'm sorry. Do you say karate gyms? Yeah, like karate gym. You know, it smells like feet in there just a little bit. <laughs> How many karate gyms have you I've been, been in? I've been in a few. <laughs> My parents are like, oh, this kid's going to definitely need to take care of himself because he can't win in a fight. So let's send him to karate. <laughs> that, that served you well. You're like, his dad was a black belt. So let me explain what I'm going to do real quick. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to spray my mat. You okay over there? Yeah, sorry. I was thinking about more boils. Okay. I'm going to spray my mat with a little bit of the Nimble Lemon from the Creative Juice Collection by Jane Davenport, along with just a scramp of water just to help it flow. And we're going to just kind of swipe. Basically, what is going to happen, what is going to happen, hopefully, is it's going to have a layered look like that, as opposed to like a blurry, softer look like this. Okay. We'll see how it goes. And if it doesn't work out, well, I lied. If it doesn't work out, just re explain it and be like, this is why I did this. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh, let me just say, not all spritzers are created equal because mm. I bought these thinking oh cool I can put my like inks in them so I have a ton of them now they I got them cheap off Amazon like a pack of like 50 of them did you read the reviews yeah good reviews you know me I always read the reviews and they spray everywhere all over my hands my fingers they spray backwards I don't know what's happening <laughs> very upset about it but also it gets the job done so we move on look at that it like sprays in a circle why, why did you spray on there Somebody wasn't listening. I wasn't. <laughs> I was thinking about Marianne Margulies. Yeah, well. And how she could be Margoyles of the Gargoyles. Oh, my God. So now we're going to take this. It's a lot easier if you have, like, a spare piece of paper, but we don't. So we're just going to do this. Oh, my God. It's like a reverse. Yeah. Just smear it. We are smearing it. And then... Ugh. Now, this is a very precise art. There's okay. a lot of dry time, so I apologize. <laughs> Trisha says, hi, everyone. A few minutes late tonight. Quite all right. You didn't miss much. Just talk, Rocky talking about Miriam Margoyles. <clears throat> We're going to yeah, sop yeah, up a little, a little extra ink just because there's a lot going on. I just love how far this heated tool can, or whatever it is, can go all the way over here on this side of my desk. In other news, I woke up this morning with really weird, like, loud hearing bass sounds and, like, very sensitive to noise. And I, I think it's because I worked out really hard yesterday but i'm not sure so like we're out eating and all i can hear is like the base of everyone talking and like the, anyway yeah i worked out too so we'll see how that goes so anyway i'm just gonna smack it down again in the yellow smack it. get a couple dots on there and then we're gonna dry the dots carry on with your awesome story and about... the ink doesn't stain your mat no that paper is really just <laughs> oh yeah it's curling up there it usually happens when it gets hot you can go to the back and it'll relax it but It'll calm down once it's totally dry. Relax the back. How do you feel about these cookies today, Kimball? These well, cottage think, bakery. They break apart easily, but the flavor was good. It's like yeah, real, they are like dust kind of. But it's like, like real chunks of strawberry, which is nice. Yummy dust. <laughs> now, how many different kinds of dust do you snack on? Mm. Not many that are yummy. 
well, the yellow, you can't really see the layering. If it was white paper, you'd probably see it more. All right, just gonna divvy dab up these last little drops. It's a precise science. And then I'm gonna just wipe this down, get it ready for the next color. But first, let's try this. Yeah. Have a sip of coffee. How is everybody's week? What did everyone do? And before you ask, no, Rocky and I did not go see the Queen. After reading about, or yeah, I think we were reading about it or watching it, whatever, people waiting in line for over like 20 hours. I was like, that's not for me. I was like, oh, no, 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 I need a bathroom. Yeah. All right. Putting down. Oh, and also with the colors, I'm starting with the lightest color and working my way to the darkest. I don't think you really need to, but I just, that's how I do it. Look at that nice <laughs> even spray. Oh, no, I love it. I'm happy about it. It looks like little bow ties. And we'll add a little water in some parts. And this one we're going to kind of kirschblump. Kirschblump. Kirsch. I need to get the Kimball Dictionary again. We're schlumping and kirsch blumping. Okay, we're gonna let this dry. Start building up some layers. <laughs> Trisha says, this week I have done nothing. <laughs> that sounds like a lovely week. It does. I love that for you, Trisha. I would love that for me too. One day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's not talk with our mouth full of the ice, ice cream. cream. Didn't want me to talk, apparently. Mm, not just the ice cream. All right, going in for another bump. Do that. Dry it. I know this is like time consuming. This is like the longest part of the whole thing. Oh, we actually have all the lights on this time. I'm all. Does it create weird shadows? Of course it does. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? All right, one more Kirsch plump with this, and then we'll go with the blue colors, which will give us greens and purples. Let me just wipe up this bit. Jenna Actually, says, My week was meh. Right. That's, I mean, that could be a good week. Not the easiest to wipe up with the raunchy paper towel, but whatever. It's not really raunchy. Jenna was call calling out that when they moved, she took the master bedroom as her craft room. Rightfully so. Well, I mean, <laughs> would it fit in any other room? Gonna just throw that paper towel away, cause ew. All right. Drying this up. Ew, you know what? What? I already see lips forming right here. It looks like little lips. Oh my god, but we're using a stencil. So okay. I could try and place your lips no, right there, no, but I'm... No, no, no. Don't, don't. I was just being random. You are random. Random. Um, I feel like that's going to soak through. Oh, it already is kind of going through a little bit. That's fine, though. It transferred to the other page. You're going to make some brilliant artwork with those dots. And do something. And I'm just going to be using the Jane Davenport... Magic wands. I believe it's called the portrait set. Hmm. And all of the wands are like named after things like that you would do, like different kinds of skin, lash line, you know, tear duct, eye, whatever, eyeball. Jenna yeah. is working on building a dresser right now. Jenna, can we can you tell us what name the dresser is? That's we're assuming it's from IKEA, but maybe we're wrong. Sorry, I'm dropping everything over here. And back. Is it a hemness or a mall? <laughs> All right, spritzing brilliance blue. Tarva. Good old Tarva. Tarva. That was going to be my eighth guess. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and do blue around the borders. Why? Because I don't really want blue all over her face, which always ends up happening anyway. Let's do a smudge up here. Ooh. And then I'm going to kind of bend the paper out so I can kind of just, you know, get some smurges there. Oh, look at that. It's the universe. All right. And give it a dry. We're almost done with the long part. 
I would never think to do this, just spraying my mat and dipping the paper on it. Well, I'm not going to lie. I saw Tim Holtz do it, and I thought, I want to do that. Oh, my God. It's so inspiring. But, I mean, I'm sure, like, a million people do it. I see Jane do it all the time. I just never think to. Like, she always, like, you can do that, like, with mermaid markers. She'll always smear them down there, and then, like, you can use them to, like, you can paint with a little puddle instead of using, like, straight-on mermaid marker, because they're intense. Mm. There's a lot going on with those. I might actually, oh, okay, maybe I'll put a little down in this corner here, because it's looking a little plain. But I like where it's at. Sadie says, I'm going to do watercolors now, too. Bring it on. I don't know why I said it like that, like it was a threat. <laughs> <laughs> you better. Dot, 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 We're getting into finger painting territory, Kimball. That's not what the, we, people signed up for. Um, nobody signed up for anything, so okay, you're welcome. Do you, think, do you think eventually it's going to stain? The mat? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Maybe if you get some vinegar, and then you can have some chips with it. <laughs> You're so funny. Woo! Not as funny tasting as the chips were. Like, I'm all about salt and vinegar, but wow. Better than your eggs. It's like, would you like some chips with that vinegar? They were delicious. Get over it. I'm telling Tyrell you're dissing there. I like Tyrell chips. I'm not, don't get me wrong. Let's try to have, have part of a cookie. All right. Oh, God. Easy now. Oh. Uh, mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> you got some crumbs there. Jenna says, loving the colors. Thank you. Ooh, that's hot. Don't burn yourself. Mmm. Okay. Jenna Colors. says, I imagine myself when Kimball said, bring it on, he gave a sassy look. <laughs> I would say so. I mean, you kind of always have a sassy look. I am what I am, can't change it. I found clippies. I don't remember where they were, but... They make my life a little bit easier. Oh, I think we'll zoom in once you get that situated when you start drawing. It might be easier to, let me just see if, I might draw without those on there. I don't really know what I'm doing. Where do you want your uh, notepad to be? I'll center the camera around it without the stencil real quick. Thanks. I mean, it's pretty centered, but I'll probably uh, move it up. Uh, Not too close, that really limits what I can do. Hmm, where do we want to place her? Because like right here is nice, it's very pale, and that give her like pink cheeks. I could do that. Her hair's flowing up. I think I used this stencil to draw Princess Leia forever ago. Mm. But we're gonna draw just the stencil this time around. Let's pick a pencil that will actually show up, but not too dark. I can move, I can move my water aside. My mat is bubbling up. Okay, bringing pencils closer, putting heat pen, heat pen, heat gun further. All right. Hmm. I would like a medium brown. We'll try that. And basically, we're gonna go in and color in the stencil. Somewhat lightly, because if you see my other ones, you know, I like to add my own style to it, but this is a very good starting off point. And I know, like, when I did my, like, how I color with colored pencils, I do color differently with these ones in this, uh, when doing this technique. I do more of a layering thing, just because there's so much going on, and I don't really want to do, like, a complete solid look. So don't come at me with, why are you coloring different? Why are you lying in your other videos? Because first and foremost, I do what I want. That's right. <laughs> if it says it on a mug that I own, then it must be true. Especially if there's a little drawing of a kitty cat flipping you off. But not today. Today I'm just drinking out of my Rebel Cup. Or Rebel, however you want to say it. 
I'm always curious as to what this is gonna look like because you know, don't really plan anything out. Sadie was asking, has anyone tried the Hemi watercolor sets before? I'm obsessed with them. Hemi. And she was saying they're mega pigmented. They're very nice, like gouache they have. I was gonna say, I thought the Hemi was gouache. I haven't seen the watercolor ones. I don't know. I don't need more art supplies. I don't but know. But if I see them. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know about that. I do try, though, to get more locally made stuff or smaller batch stuff. I do find I enjoy that a little bit more. Also, I'm not a huge fan of gouache. Just like of using it or of actual paintings? Using Oh, I love the way it looks. Um, even like the layer cakes, I have to like work in the work with them a certain way because I don't like the reactivation quality of it. Mm. But I also do. It's like, I don't know. I got to be particular about it because I like it because like, um, you know, acrylics, they dry and their acrylics dry really fast for me anyway. And it's really hard for me to get a nice blend out of them. But I do like that they are permanent once they're down. How many times have you done this and like not colored all the parts and you wanted to? Mm, not too often. Just take her neck off the page. All right. And you know, I'm not a terrible artist. Like I can, I can probably make up whatever I missed. I'm pretty good at that. Put my stencil back because I'm a responsible adult. It's almost where it goes. All right. We did get new curtains in the room, so hang out until the end and we'll show you what they look like. Oh my god. We like were... and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, we need a better backdrop because right now we have beige curtains. It's not working. Also, I just, I cannot stand. Like, we have white walls. It's driving me nuts. I'm like, we need more stuff in here. But also, it is really nice to not have beige curtains, beige lights, beige everything. Which I get, you know, you want that neutral vibe for whoever is going to move in here kind of thing. Why is my chair going to be so weird? <laughs> Did you hear it? Burr, 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 burr. Yeah, basically. All right. So what I like to do is come in with the white S smoothing. Trisha says, can't wait to see the curtains. Oh, my Ooh. God. The anticipation. <laughs> but I'll give you a hint. They were from Dunelm. All right. So I'm going to go in with white to kind of, it helps me just place the eyes. Just go in kind of loosely, lightly, whatever. It just kind of starts setting the mood. Little highlight. Okay, where do I want? Should I do like dramatic lighting coming from the this side? Like really sharp white highlights? I don't know, but what I do know is that when I look at this, I just pretend that the entire tub is 96 calories. Yeah, that's why I love Halo Top, because it's like 150 calories for the whole pint. And I'm down with that. Well, yeah, I'm going to do hard shading on the whole edge. Mm -hmm. Because it's fun. Got her little chin. It's like doing all the highlights first. Highlight the side of her lip. It would hit her nose. The brow, the eyelid. Definitely the side of the eye. And that. And you can make this as thick or thin as you want. It makes me think, like, how many other art techniques are out there that you would really enjoy doing that we just haven't discovered? I know, right? I'm going to have it go up and create a little jawline for her, just a little one. And I don't know if I'll have it hit that side of her face, but it can hit her hair. And we'll bring it in a little bit just because because I want to, really. Bring that down for the neck. And we'll do a little shoulder here. A little shoulder action. Shoulders! Mm. And then on the back side, it would hit just a little bit there. And just a little bit under this hair. Elaine says, hi, all. Hi, Elaine. I don't speak for all of us, but hey. And then there'll be a there'll be a more subtle highlight on this side for her cheek. We're just blocking in some of the highlights. This is not the finished product. This is the brow bone up to the forehead. Kind of like the temple is on that side, so it's darker. And then lighter on the forehead side, the front of the forehead. 
eyelid, eyelid, a little bit on top of the nose, around the nose. Probably can't really see any of this right now, but it definitely helps map out the colors so I know what I'm doing later. So basically, in my mind, there's a big light on this side of her shining. So that's where these highlights come from. And then this side's going to be in shadow, but then there's going to be a light kind of behind her coming back this way. And that's what's causing this hard light on the side of her face. Got Listen, it. That's what I see in my mind. So now I come in with like the dark purpley. This one is lush shadow. That is lush shadow. Lush shadow. Again, that is lush shadow. Thank you. You hurry up with the lush shadow. Thank you. Shut up. I am busy. <laughs> so this will be the darkest shadow. We're going to bring it in. And it'll be dark pretty much on here because her nose would be blocking the light and her, uh, the bridge of her nose. And then this would be the darkest, but then it like it gets broken up because the light light from the background's hitting it. I really don't know how to explain this, but. I think everyone understands perfectly. Well, you know. You can really shade however you want. Did anyone have any interesting dreams this week? I did. That you care to share? I just had weird anxiety dreams. Did I have? I don't know if I had any dreams. I mean, I know I did, but like, I don't know what they were about. I feel like there was one about moving. Or I was lost or something. All right, a little bit of a chin shadow. Shade the nose. Although I did have one of the most vivid dreams I've ever had last week. It was, um, it wasn't the entire night. It was just like one segment. Like I woke up around 6 a.m. and I was like, I'm gonna go back to sleep. And I slept for another hour and had like this really vivid dream of driving. I was in like some spaceship flying around and I just like vividly, could see everything, even like some guy's face in a car that was driving by. It was weird. Wow, you had a dream that you drove by some guy and saw his face. You Listen. are crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Ooh, you should see a psychologist. So much creativity in our dreams. Huh? What's going on with you? All right. Jenna says, no weird dreams, just lack of sleep. Mm, understandable. Because, you know, crazy people knocking on your door at like two in the morning. Rudeness. Where are my ear pods? I mean, I know there's more to it, but geez. Anyway, this is all like shadowy shoulder business down here. Shoulders. All right, so now we are going to work up from that color to these purples, which I love. There's like a pinky purple and like a bluey purple and they're like nice together. The pinky purple, you know, actually I use them for both sides. Although, wait real quick. Let me just shade in her eyeball. Just give it a little dimension. Although I usually use the blue. There's blues. Although maybe I'll just give her a blue eye. That'll work. Save that for later. And then I can work on this. We're just gonna add a little bit more shading to it. And then I'm gonna go over the purpley colors with a skin tone. Is it sad that I'm excited that we met somebody named Bert? So now I can be like, hey, Bert. <laughs> I'm excited about Except that. Except he's from Thailand, so his name's Bert. 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 But I mean, you know, well, he's half Thai, half yes, English. Yes, that's very true. So his name is Bert, but they, he pronounces it Bert when he goes to Thailand. But his wife does all the cooking at the restaurant. It's absolutely oh my God. delicious. So wonderful. So good. And they're so nice. He's like, next time you come in, just tell, tell us you just want us to make you whatever, and we'll make you something really authentic. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I, so I wanted to know, uh, sorry, I'm shining a little pink in. I wanted to know, like, a, a nice, authentic Thai dish. Because, you know, they kind of do crowd pleasers on menus. And so I, like, wanted to know. Like, what's an actual authentic, like, what would you guys make? And he's like, oh, we do it all the time. Yeah, he's like, okay, yeah, just come in. Don't grab a menu, just ask me. And I'm like, yeah, I will. I'm going to do it. Doing some, like, tear duct stuff, just a little pink in the eye. And then Kimball was like, just make sure it's not an entire, like, fish face. I was like, I can't do that yet. Working up to it. All right. Let's bring in some skin tone. So we have a pinky skin tone, pinky pink, and then like a 
peachier one, or I could go a darker one. I'm gonna probably combine those. But we'll bring the pink in, and just kind of layer it on top where I normally do pinks, like in the cheeks and stuff. Bring it in the nose. Just going over the shading, it doesn't matter. Bring it in kind of strong up here. I mean, she's already got like mad pink happening from all this ink splash. And let's go with this color. And then we'll kind of just finalize this shaded area. How's the ice cream? Mm. It's good. I was trying to find out how many milliliters are actually in this tub. And there's 460, which means I've already had 200 calories of ice cream. Well, that's not bad. Let's just keep going. I mean, think about how many calories you have when you go to the ice cream shop that we always go to. I feel like... A half a... No, I feel like I'm going to burn most of these off when I sleep tonight. That Why? What are you doing in your sleep? Well, I'm hopeful. <laughs> mm. Isn't that cute? Elaine says, I had vivid dreams last night, which I think was a mix of work stuff and the news. Mm. Only thing I really remember is I couldn't remember the name of the guy who presented the sky at night, which I now know is Patrick Moore. Oh. Also, just saw there was like an earthquake in Taiwan. Not excited about that. Yeah, that's really sad. Oh, the things that happen. All right. Try and stay out of the sad zone. Um, can I just kind of add this over the purpley areas? And darken it up a little bit. Amanda Ryan says, Evening, you guys. How are you settling into the UK? Hope you both didn't take the wrong turn of the road. Loving what you're creating there, Kimball. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, we're settling in pretty well, I would say. I think so. I've noticed there's a lot less options here. Maybe it's because it's an island, but oh my God, everybody owns the exact same wood printed furniture. <laughs> it's like the exact same. Even if it's a different piece of furniture, Kim and I are like, oh, yep, there's that same exact pattern I'm on like, our coffee table. And our bookshelves. And I've seen it on people's desks. I've seen it on people's art tables. And I'm like, oh my God. That's funny. That's like, the they got the monopoly on that. Anyway, adding a little highlight on the chin. I'm all moving on before I get yelled at. <laughs> you got to watch yourself, Campbell. This is YouTube. <laughs> I don't think you're at like influencer status yet. You don't get like super yelled at yet. Well, this video is never coming down. So just a little highlight on the cheekbone or the jawbone. Sorry. And I want to give her, I always like to add the little tendons and what have you as the muscles. Just a little hint. She's got to hold her neck up somehow. Hold her head up. And collarbone. Nice little clavicle. Just a hint, darling. We're not going crazy. Just a whisper. And then we shade a on whisper. that side of the clavicle to help it stand out a little bit. And a little down here. Although this is mostly colored in, so it's not layering up too much. Okay. Let's get down to business. I'll probably do her hair with watercolor just because it's a lot faster. By the way, if you guys are just joining us today, um, Jenna is working on building a Tarva dresser. Thank you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> and now I'm going to work on her lips and eyes, and we're going to start building up that contrast and making it a little more me. Let's bring in the blue. Leave us. I'm leaving the spot right here for just pure highlight color. And Jenna's all, thanks for the update, Rocky. <laughs> You're welcome. And Jenna always does the service of saying, like, if for everyone just joining, Kimball's doing this and that and everything in between. So I figure we might as well give Jenna an update or an update for Jenna. Because that's the kind of people we are. We did start to watch Pinocchio. I'm liking it so far. I like it much more than I, I didn't really like the new Thor Love and Thunder. I was like, I feel like his character development just went out the window. Like, I liked it. Like, he just reverted back to an idiot. I didn't like his character. Mm. He was like, we, I mean, I like that. He's like, we must get this done, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I don't know, watching wars while he's, like, meditating. I was like, no. It's supposed to be funny, Kimball. I know, but, like, 
that just revert like just it makes his growth go away because like he wouldn't just watch people fighting and dying yes understood i don't know, I don't know. didn't like it i don't like that it's fine <laughs> all right let's i want to do i don't want to go so dark brown around her eyes let's bring in some reddish colors and some browns blue i don't need you right now and Jenna's all, oh, i put a piece upside down there was uh, there was a time when we were doing a makeover on Ikea Home Tour and we were done with everything. I looked down at one of the bookcases and the plinth on one of the Billy bookcases was done backwards. So it was like inset really far from the other ones. And, and someone was like, should we just leave it? And I was like, no. Yeah, that's a good idea. And it was at the time when you had to nail the backs on. I don't know if you still do or if they slide in. But anyway, so we had to like pry the base. Of, oh my God. And it was just like. <laughs> the last thing I wanted to do when we were done. One thing I love is that, like, as you layer colored pencils more and more and more, like, they kind of start looking like pink to me. Yeah, because you stop seeing the strokes in between, like the little spots in between in the and texture. It, yeah, and it just starts to look like, um, I don't know, like an oily paint. I don't know if that's dark enough. I'm going to go darker. Color. And does oily paint make you a good artist? Or I don't know. It makes some people a good artist. All right, let's add yellow in there and see what that does. I feel like the medium is irrelevant if you're doing something that you think is beautiful. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean, and I agree. I feel like I can't sit in my chair in very specific ways where it's like... Or, 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 or. <laughs> is that just your stomach? I don't know. Let me have a couple more bites of ice cream before we find out. And we'll give her dark ish brown. What color should I make her hair? We'll get there eventually, but I figured I should ask now if anybody has any hair requests. Let me see if the chair has anything to say. No. Oh, now it's all silent. Well, you know how it is. I could also just lighten her hair so like the color still shines through. That could be. Maybe I'll do that. Nobody answered quick enough. It's kind of hard because normally I would be drawing like this so I could look directly down on it. But I'm trying to not completely block it with my huge noggin. So y'all can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Jenna says, I have a mini Billy bookcase from the Ikea Museum that I put a shelf on backwards. It's just lived like that. <laughs> <laughs> you put little mini books on it. Here come the littles. Um, you probably can't see it on camera, but I am mixing like, there's like a red brown and like a really dark umber brown. And like up close, it's really pretty. Like you can see like the slight variations in color. Just letting you know, like if you're wondering why I'm switching between color pencils. So informative. You know, I try. Let's add some gray into this side. I always just make it dark next to the highlight because that way it makes it like the highlight pop out a little more. Don't have to do it, personal preference. So pretty. Add a little yellow in there. All right, and obviously I'll be pulling out like the paint pen later. Give her a nice nostril so she can breathe. Jenna said I could probably make many books. Jenna, you could make many sketchbooks. Lord knows. And you, you could fill the little mini bookcase with many sketchbooks okay. and art supplies. You got the craft space. We all know it. I know what you're doing over the next year. Give her a nostril edge. Can you imagine doing all that work and then like literally it all fits on like a little tiny bookcase? Yes. Let's try this color. It's like, I don't want it to be too dark, but I want her nostril to stand out. Above the crowd, even if I got a shadow. Alarm. If you guys follow Jen on Instagram and see her like hand binding tiny books over the next week, you know what's happening. <laughs> it started here, folks. 
just calming down some of the splotchies because this is a pretty close match to that background pinky schmerge. Um, okay, let's get her lips colored in. So I'm going to bring a bright pink, get rid of the grays. Probably, I don't know if I'll need the dark, dark brown, but maybe. Let, well, let's just start with the dark, dark brown. Work on her lip line first because that would be the darkest. Listen, crumbs everywhere. <laughs> Professional artist. We all do it. Elaine says, get the cinch out, Jenna. <laughs> What's a cinch? Are you asking me? Yes. Um, being married to you is a cinch. Oh, okay, got it. That makes sense. <laughs> Jenna says, on it. I'm just building up from that dark color. Also, I kind of bring the sh like lip color out as a shadow too sometimes. You know, because I want to. And then this is more of a red. It's like a red brown. And I think I want to lay down sharpening. We're sharpening with my Prismacolor sharpener. Jenna says it's a wire book binding thing. That's what I was going to say, but... I Trisha don't wanna... sold hers. Trisha. Because she was making more room for art supplies. All right, I allow it. All right, we're just going to do the white here. Little highlighter and her little smiley dimple thing. Bring it down. Actually, I can just bring it down. I'll add pink back into it. We're all listening to Rocky eat his ice cream. <laughs> oh, I should probably. Everyone knows that sound very well, I'm sure. Scraping the bottom of the bowl. No, it's just the side. Sure, Jan. And I say sure, Jan, because of what movie is it? It's also a TV show. Oh my God! I'm not telling it's you. It's a story <laughs> of a lovely lady. If you get through the song, you might be able to remember. <laughs> go ahead, keep on. You'll get there. The Brady Bunch. There you go. Saying it in my head. All right, just trying to calm everything down. Jenna says, I've never had one. I did use my Cricut last week. Well, I'm sure somebody used our Cricut last week. Yay. Good for them. It's probably sitting on their shelf, too, and they're like, oh, my God, I have to justify spending this. <laughs> they didn't spend as much as we did. True. All right. Darken up that nostril edge thingy just a little bit more. Come back in with some... <laughs> Catherine says, evening all a bit late as we were watching Paddington with smallish person. Oh. That's a cute movie. The smallish people. Whoa, excuse me. See people. All right, let's brighten up this highlight again because it got a little dulled down. The brow bone. Wasn't what, uh, Paddington done by the same producer that did Harry Potter? I don't know your lifestyle. Is it David Yates? Sure. That's the wrong color. I don't really remember which color I used. Probably not this one either. Maybe this reddish one? Color's color. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking of trick now. Yes. But we don't swear on this channel that often. Rocky does. Catherine says, I used to just say small, but now he has reached five foot at nine years, so we're just smallish now. That makes sense. I think that's <laughs> justified. <laughs> Rocky will allow it. Janice um, says she made some Halloween stickers um, for her daughter. Um, they're decorating the classroom. Oh, fun. That's fun. That's the best use of a cricket I've heard all week. That's the only use of a cricket like, I've heard all week, only but use. still, it's the best and only. All right, just darkening up under her chin a little. I like the little added contrast. What's up, Rocky's leaning in? I was just getting really close to the microphone. All right, just holding up and looking at it. Hmm, what don't I like about it? Why don't you flip it upside down? Yes. If it was on the computer, I could, like, you know, reverse it, but... I you think could kick I... your thing down, flip it, and reverse it, probably. Yeah. I think I would have just... Um, it was on the stencil, but I, sh I don't like that that is rounded right there. I wish the neck went straight into the chin rather than curving out to it. That's what's bugging me, but what am I going to do? I'm not going to paint over it because... Actually, it's too I late do... now, but... I could paint over with a paint pen, but I'm going to do watercolor on the edge, I think. So 
Jenna says, dang, I'm 35 and five feet tall. I'm Asian though, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 40 and six foot. It's funny because I always like envy smaller people, especially like men, because like, I, I don't know, like I was always like, oh, I love how like stockier their bodies are and like their muscles look like more round and because they're like not so long. Like right. for me, no matter how much I work out, my muscles still just all look like long and whatever. Yeah. I loved being, well, because I was like the youngest of six kids. And so I loved being the smallest because I could always get into like little places, you know, until, until I discovered snacks and sweets. <laughs> And yeah. then I couldn't quite fit into those same spaces. We're bringing in the white paint pen. It always just lightens up a picture, you know? Jenna says, I envy tall people. They're able to reach the top shelf without climbing to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> it would be so satisfying. Uh... When I worked at Ikea, I had, um, there's like, basically I was in sales and then there was interior design folks. And I had, there was a woman, there was quite a few people, but they were like, I need a tall person. And they would always come up to me <laughs> to reach like higher places. Cause you're the tallest. All right. I'm going to amp up this highlight on the edge of her face. Cause it should be like the lightest. Jenna says you get creative on how to reach things when you're short. <laughs> Ladder backpack, anyone? Oh my god. What if they had shoes that just like you press a button and then your shoes just like lift you up an extra foot and then they go back down? Are those called like stilts? I mean, I'm sure somebody has like an automated stilt thing. Or like those people that like paint ceilings, you know? Do you know I mean? Sadie says I'm four foot ten. Yeah. Frescoes or what are they called? Not fr What are they called? I'm just talking about stilts. Oh, okay. Um, Sadie says I'm four foot 10 inches. And then Catherine says his dad is five foot 11 and I'm five foot five. I use barbecue, barbecue skewers to get the Tassimo packs off the cupboards. That sounds like fun. Okay. There's like gunk happening with my. Jenna says I use barbecue skewers too. <laughs> is that a thing? Is that like the most, it's like a, you know, multitasking kitchen item. Use what you got, I suppose. Alton Brown would be proud. He does love multitaskers. Little highlight on these lashes. Our, oh, can you have down here? Actually, I'll make it come around her chin just a little bit. Jenna says, yes, it's a thing. I grab tongs. I always think of like those um, Terminator things that like was like the Terminator hand and then you squeeze the one oh, yeah. that like squeezes the hand. Like, does everyone have that on hand just in case? My grandma had that. I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. I feel like my pen might be dying. No. Ugh. Elaine says I'm five foot two and I use a spatula. No one over five foot seven is allowed on this channel, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Except for us. Oh, they hid Janice's comment. Janice had a comment. Oh, there we go. It was Janice says that or those big ass tongs. <laughs> no. All right, well, since the pen is dying, we're just going to toss it aside. Uh, all right, so what was I? Oh, yeah, I was going to do like a white creaminess for the hair, which I will just do with a layer cake if I can find the one with the white. Kimball's trying, trying to rearrange his art room. He's having like existential crisis of the art room. Always. So he like moved his desk, laid his Calyx unit down. That's like the eight cubbies. I had to like take everything out, put it on the side of the room, rearrange the furniture, got halfway done putting stuff back. And I was like, I hate it. So I put it all back. It's just, I feel cramped and I don't have lots of little furniture and we had to have, we have like excess furniture. So I put it in here cause it's, it's useful, but still crammed. All right. What if we just got rid of that and put another one of those that, you know what I'm talking about people? That exactly. and those. I love all that. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if this is going to work because I haven't done this yet, but we are going to just, I want it to be thin because I don't want to cover up all the color, but I just want to lighten. Well, that definitely did the trick. <laughs> well, it'll, it should sink in. It might actually even bring the inks back to life a little, but 
I just want it to be light. And it, just, <laughs> it was completely wide over when you did it. Right. And that's another thing that's like scary about gouache is that like, you know, a lot of times it sinks into the page and it's not really the color when you lay it down. It's You got to get really familiar with it. This paper seems to be holding up pretty well. I know. It's like sketch paper. I didn't actually draw her ear. So we'll give her an ear in there somewhere. Janice is like, oops, I, <laughs> I won't type that word again. Sorry. I don't <laughs> think we really care, Janice. Oh, I don't. Um, Janice says, geez, layer cake. Yeah. I bet she probably was like, geez, layer cake. I don't know. I'm not sure. Who knows? But that's nice. So we it can let perfect. that we can let it settle though, because it's still wet and shiny. M milky. White. Breasts. What do you have to read? Have you guys has anyone seen that movie? Oh, I'm God, sure everyone's seen this yes. movie. League of the Run. Love it. You were supposed to let them guess what it was. Uh, well, you didn't Kimble. say, but also has anybody started watching the TV series? I have not. I haven't either. I'm probably going to, but not right now. I'm like super busy. I'm watching other stuff. I'm enjoying the Lord of the Rings one, uh, Ring of Power. I only watched the first episode, but I like it. And what else am I watching? Oh my gosh, too many things, really. I think we like it so much because we like Gladriel probably the most. Like her character in the main movies. Yeah. Was probably our favorite character. So it's like there's she an entire been series about her. Some stuff. Last I saw, she jumped off the boat. Rocky's pointing. That really is helpful, Rocky. Does the side of your bookcase say sample on it? Yes. I think we got it in as is. Or, as I like to say, asses. Mm -hmm. oh, they don't even call that here. What do they call it here? Like the tournament? Not full circle? I don't remember, but it's some random... Yeah, I don't know what it's it like is. It's like the circle hub. Something. Okay, so my Posca is a little perclooped. Let's get... Let's... What is this? I have a, oh, I can use a Sharpie. Let's open a new one, shall we? If you don't know, they're wrapped individually in most paint pens. If you just twist the cap, like it breaks it open. Oh my God. I'm well, I didn't know that for the first, like I don't hacks. know. The first like 30, I was like peeling each one. I'm like, oh my God, I hate this. Why would anybody ever? <laughs> Before I do that, let me, let me draw her ear. Cause you know, she likes to hear what's going on. We'll just keep it subtle. I might just do some browns-ish colors. Just a little, just a little ear. She wants to hear what's going on. It's kind of covered by the hair anyway, so you know. Don't have to get too particular. I'm just gonna go over everything with the color to push the color back and bring like the ear forward. And a little highlight, a little subtle highlight. Highlight. Oh my God, I love 17 so much. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm sure people watch the channel like, what are, what's, what are they on? <laughs> I just, they're so good. Like all their songs are so good. Okay. She's got an ear now. She can hear what's going on. She can listen to 17 all day long. Shake, 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 shake up. Oh, look, it's it's a brand new one. It's a brand new day. I forgot that I have to, like, pump a paint pen. Ugh, sorry if you tuned in for this. This I wish we had, like, a really good close-up. Oh, come on. Come on, paint. Where Where is it? It usually doesn't take me. You know what the problem is? You did not get this one from Jenna. Jenna would have given you a good one. Ugh, I know. Did you shake it up? Oh, wait, I think we're getting some action. All right. Okay, calm down. Let's just go over these. I always get slight anxiety when you do the white paint pen because it's like, it makes me feel like it's the end of the video. I mean, it's getting there. And I don't want our time to be done ever. I don't want it ever to end, Kimball. But then how will you play your game? Okay, can you finish up? Right. You got to... I need to go to... be defeated eight times in a row before just throwing the remote, okay? I really want to get back to that. <laughs> I mean, next time I have to like fill out an interview or like a, um, a resume and or if I'm like in an interview and they're like, how would you like describe like your personality? Do you like, are you good? Are you a patient person? I'd be like, no, 
Absolutely. Not. I used to think I was, but then I played Elden Ring. So yeah, no, I'm not patient anymore. I'm switching to a bigger marker for the hair because that one seems to poo out. So let's see how this one does. And I just want to go over, of course it's working amazing. I just want to go over the pencil line. This is the Jane Davenport Storytime Paint Pen in Snow White. The other one I was using was, what was it? The Sharpie White Paint Pen. But it wasn't working quite as well. Okay. Got that business done. Oh, she's popping off the page. We love that. Like the hair, like where that went. Although I do want to use... She actually looks all like a glad girl. Yeah, that's what I was going for. I was like, yeah, girl. I'm glad about it. Glad and girl. I wanted to like... I don't know if this will... Oh, yeah, we're working. Okay. And... Missy says, love the hair. Oh, thank you. Just trying to loosen it up a little bit with some strands. Missy says, hi, everyone. Jenna, I saw your Instagram video of your table. You're an awesome person. I can't believe you put them together in such a short time. Also, Jenna, I'm planning the new studio space. And yesterday I was like, or on Friday, I was planning out using those exact same cabinets as an island. And I saw you post and I was like, okay, now I'm even more inspired to do that now. <laughs> All right. Question. What color shade is the background? I'm going to go in a blue. And I'm probably just going to go like just around here. Should I do a circle? Maybe we'll do a circle. Let's do I a love, circle. Oh my God. I love, I love for me. I love circles. Should I do like. Mm. You know, I love you more than a circle. Me. A star. Okay. Well, okay. that's not happening. Um, okay. Looking around the room frantically for a circle shape. Circle shape. Where's the circle shape? Um, There's a. How big? Show me with your finger. Like. You know. Mm -hmm. A small salad plate. Like, I would use this, but it's really hard to get, like, in Do you want there, me to get like... you a collection of bowls from downstairs? <laughs> no, I can right. use the bottom of that. Here, if you could just use this. Come here, folks. Giant Harry Potter mirror. That's perfect. And it's its own weight. So, where did my pencil go? What color am I doing this? We'll do a blue-ish color. Just in case everyone wants to see what you look like. You do it. There you go, Kimball. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> if we loosen these enough, everyone. Listen, you're moving it. Oh my God! I'm sorry. But I need to show them what they look like with this dirty mirror. There they go. Well, I think it's good. Move it away. Take it away. Take it away, Aaron. All right. And then, all right. You know, we're gonna go soft blues. Soft blues. Like soft jazz. Yeah. Oh, wait, should I do like the same vibe as the hair, but like in blue? I don't know if that would work. We're going to try the 70s eyeshadow blue. Because it's like a creamy blue. Let's scooch a little more so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Elaine says, I was so impressed with the swatches of the Tim Holtz watercolor pencils. Serious dedication. I can't find those here readily available, but also they're kind of expensive. I didn't want to have to order them. I was hoping to just go into a store and pick them up. Probably not going to happen. I don't know if I'll get them or not, but... Jenna is all about the swatching. She is a swatch queen. Swing. Okay. I feel like with the dramatic highlight, I should have given her a darker blue. It's too late now. It is. But also, I'm drawing that because it wants to blur a little. Kimball's life is full of regret. Because I met you. <laughs> well, it's not looking as good as I wanted it to. But we don't care. We're carrying on. Maybe I'll add a little of the darker blue. It's more translucent, but it's moody. Oh, it's very like creamy gray now. Well, we'll see what happens. That's cool. I always get scared because I love like the pretty colors, but... I also want like dramatic effect. You know? I think they'll still show through. It's not like gonna. But I have to be careful not to go over the. The white. Yeah. I mean, you can go back over it later. Well, 
I don't want to. Except for up here where I'm lazy. I'm like, lashes, what? All right, I mean, you can see that pencil line, but I guess we don't care too much. Because I like try and hide it. I'm like, I don't care about it, and cover it up. <laughs> I do need to darken that, it didn't, it just looks weird. I think I'm actually just gonna darken this whole little area there because it just looks weird otherwise. With that color pencil line going through it. Just pretend her hair is going all the way down. She's oh. got a hairy neck. What? <laughs> what? All right, good enough, I say. And then dry this. And I have some paint pens, like paint over pens. I might add some like yellow dots because I enjoy that. <clears throat> Drying it up. See, I don't like that it dulls down the color, but I like that it pushes her forward from the page. So it's a give and take. I still got the bright colors up there, and then I got like the creamier color in there, like the pastels. It's, it's really the same nice. color, it just has a different value now. <laughs> <laughs> Kimberly just gave me the most like, really, look. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You went to one art class in all your life, and it was with me drawing Karen. <clears throat> Not really. I know color theory slightly. All right, so we are going to, I might do yellow and pink. Little dots, and they'll kind of like sink in because I'm not going to like layer them. You can layer them up to make them more and more solid. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I don't think anyway. I might do it on a couple just to give like more depth. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. So I can also use the colored pencils because those should be like the most faded look. That should be dry, right? Crispy. Okay, where are my paint pens? Paint pens, come to the rescue. Can I have more Jane Denport products? I think so. These are the paint over pens. I love it. Like these are the original ones. And I was obsessed. I did a few paintings. They're just fun. They just make painting like little dibbly dabs here and there really easy. Um, but the, they're just nice. You don't have to shake them up. You don't have to pump them. They're good to go. Are they dye based or what are they? Are it's they like, yeah. It's like a thin acrylic paint. But I like them. I'm also using them to break the border of that pencil line. You're really creating some depth here, Kimmel. Shut up. <laughs> There, put like one or two over here, a couple of dots, not even that noticeable, but they're there. We know they're there. And that's all that matters. They're there, everybody. Okay, I'm gonna give it a quick dry. They dry pretty fast, but I wanna like, I wanna be able to do a second layer on a couple of them. Kimberly, you have 17 watching, you know what that means. 17! Oh, okay, you know. It wasn't the right, that was not what I was thinking. We're really falling apart. I'm cleaning the tip just a little bit because it picks up the watercolor. Kim and I had this thing. I don't know why. At one point, we were like laying in bed together and we just get into the most random thoughts. And I was like, Kimball, what if we were like so in sync that we were in like a dark warehouse and we could like somehow find our way to each other and like our lips would touch without having like without missing? These are the thoughts. And so now every time we do something, like we try to do stuff to be in sync or whatever, and if it doesn't work out, I'm like, warehouse. Like, like if we miss, we're like, oh, the warehouse. <laughs> Let's see, pink. Just a couple of pink ones. I was just thinking about all the random stuff that we do when we're not in public, like just like random, like you, even you and me when we're alone, like we just do stuff we would never do in public. And I'm like, why? Uh, because nobody needs to see how I dance while I'm in the kitchen. Okay? Because, oh, do I dance. And I sing, and I clap my hands. I mean, I think there's probably vlog footage of it anyway. All right, just doing a little extra layer on a couple of those pink ones. Oh, my God, the paper's hot. Little dots. Clean the pen. As Jane says, put it to bed clean. And hmm, do I want to add blue or is that just taking it too far? 
It's not the right shade of blue. Mm, I would like to be a little more green. Like a turquoise. That's the one. This one escaped. Pretending it's dry enough. Okay. Oh, she's so cute. Is she done? I think she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Oh my God, can I just use more Jane Danvore products? Like, obsessed. <laughs> I have a problem. I think we all know the answer to that is yes. And I'm fine with that. All right, everybody. Da 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 da. She's done. That was like a weird mix of the McDonald's do 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 do. <laughs> I'm loving it. And like the um, Mission Impossible theme. <laughs> or, da, or maybe it's uh, James Bond. Da na da na 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 mm. na. You're gonna, you're gonna do that camera thing. Sadie says, beautiful. Why, thank you, Sadie. Her shoulders, they're so <laughs> broad. Oh my God. All right, one second. I'm Everyone just snack. hang oh tight. Oh my Lord me. Hang tight, it's gonna be blurry, it's gonna be weird. No, I'm eating cookies. I have to change yeah. all the settings. Setting one done. Really? One moment, Kimball. Any minute now. Mm. All right. Watch out for that. Oh, that. Wait a minute. All right. Let's get in there and see. Mm. Look at that. I think my favorite thing is when you did the white on the hair and how the colors turned out there. It's so cool. In the pastel. Sometimes you just get lucky. <laughs> okay. Mm, she cute. We like her. Oh, there's your new curtains, Kimball. Curtains. Better Isn't than that beige. beige. Do you like it better than before? Yes. I don't like beige plain curtains. Also, I don't like curtains that don't go to the floor. Except for we're in like shorter place. So well, these, these like... ones definitely go to the floor. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to pin them because otherwise they would have been like that far from the floor, which I don't like that either. Uh -huh. So I'll just pin those. It's fine. It sounds like there's a lot of things you don't like, Kimball. There are. And they're the most fun to talk about. Let's start there you with go. you. It's like you're having... Okay. Calm down. Anyway. All right. Good job, Kimball. You know can I say it one more time? Okay, I'm just going to hold, it up, hold it up one more time just so you can see it. <gasps> Kimball. Yeah. Another one for the fridge. Oh, she's going good job. so good on that fridge. On our tiny fridge. Tiny. I feel like the fridge is going to collapse from all the paintings you're putting on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should actually, like, make a little magnets of all these things and then, like... Open up a Etsy shop or, you know, reopen my Etsy shop. Put them in there. Or better yet, put them on, like, Society6 because I'm lazy. Mm -hmm. And then, like, make them, you know, magnets. So people can put another one on the fridge. Yeah. Didn't we talk about this before? But it, but it sounds like a fresh new idea. What does Mira Kimball have to say about it? Why, Kimball, that's a great idea. But we're too lazy to do such things. Great. Well, don't it, listen to him, Kimball. Don't listen to him. Right. No, Okay. Okay. Well, I would just like to thank all of you for hanging out with us. And, uh, you know. Sadie says, oh, my God, I'd buy magnets from you. <laughs> okay, well, maybe. Um, please like and subscribe. It definitely helps out the channel. And by channel, I mean me. <laughs> Help me out. Like, it helps our it entire sounds, staff. It sounds so needy. Like, oh, I hate asking. But please do like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> hurry. Oh, hurry. It's urgent. Um, we need to make our $20 that. a year. Hurry. Oh, I make, like, a little. Okay, well, true. Like a year. Like 25. Yeah. Okay, good job. <laughs> I'm, High five, influencer. Hey, I'm buying you a cup of coffee once a month. Okay. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Coffee's getting expensive. Trisha wants a magnet. All right, we'll see. We'll see what I can do. All right, well, Kimball. Yeah. What do you want to say? I would like to say thank you all for hanging out with us. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that those of you that really wanted to see this technique, I hope you saw what you wanted to see and that you were able to replicate it. And if you do, I would love to see it. So tag me at Kimball Gray on Instagram. And if it's in the Jane Downport group, I'll probably see it because I'm in there all the time. Yay, good job. Yay, okay, I guess that's it. Um, thanks, guys. <laughs>
No, we're done. You're yeah. done. We're done. You're done. We're done. You're done. Warehouse. Warehouse. <laughs> Warehouse. Okay. Oh, great. we actually test our fingertips. <gasps> we're getting better. Oh my god, we're, we're getting better. All right, we're one. Here you go, Kimball. Right. Sign off music and go. We are the one. <laughs> I would just like to say thank you. I wasn't even filming it because you're all like, no, Kimball. <laughs> <laughs> I feel derpy today. Y'all have been lovely. We will see you next week. Unless I have a mental breakdown, I decide that I need to take some time off because these things happen. Highly likely. Yeah.